1967, Nimitz High School was the first Texas public school to have its own planetarium. And now, over 40 years later, the Virtual Outer Space Observatory, which mostly hosts field trips from around the district, has been outfitted with a few new pieces of modern technology. The biggest job was we painted the dome, we painted it. This was installed in 1967, so it needed painting, and we cut back the reflectivity. It went from 67% uh, reflectivity to about 45. Then we took out the old projector, which was 1967 technology, and put in a brand new digital projector uh, from uh, Media Globe. And that's the entire thing right there. It's a single projector that projects uh, images on the dome digitally, and it's 360 degrees. Any way you look, you're in the picture. This is my first time in a planetarium, and I liked it. For most third graders, it is their first time to see anything like this but an opportunity that the teachers know enhances what is taught in the classroom. We bring our kids over here at the end of our planet unit and we bring them over here for a special treat and for them to see. We can look at pictures all day long on the computer and show them videos, but seeing it, everything in motion, and it's just really cool for them to be able to see it sort of in real life. They like zoomed in all the planets and showed us how like what was in them and what was around them. And all brought to them from the newly designed control center. We have a screen showing us the programs that are available that we have up here, like I'm doing third grade, so the solar system for third grade, and then the show that they see is Nine Planets and Counting. This over here shows what's on the screen. This is the monitor. It shows me exactly what's on the dome. So right now you can't see it, but on the dome we have planets and the moon. And as always, the trick is to throw in a little bit of learning, too. A year. A year. One year is one trip around the sun. We got to learn what's the fastest planet, what's the biggest planet, all the Earth and everything, and how many moons were there on Jupiter, and Venus and Saturn. Pluto isn't a planet. He's a dark. I remember that. The sun is like, it's a hundred uh, Earths long. I think we're definitely fortunate to have it in the district and right down the road from us, especially it's five minutes away and it's quick and easy. None of them ever have been to anything like this before and they're really excited when they leave and they love it. So it's fun. It's fun for everybody.